Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga pamamaraan kung paano gamitin yung mga operations involving uh, functions. So, unahin natin problem number one. Meron tayong tatlong functions, f of x, g of x, at saka h of x. At kailangan nating i-evaluate yung problems number one to ten using operations involving function. So, for number one, we have f of one. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, i-replace natin yung x value ng f of x, which is 2x plus 3 ng 1. So, by direct substitution, we'll have 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. So, f of 1 is equal to 5. At sa ordered pair, ang f of 1 equals 5, it means kung x ay 1, ang y value ay 5. So, yan yung notation ng uh, function tulad ng f of 1 equals 5. So, problem number 2, we have h of 1 minus g of 2. So, ang h of 1 natin ay negative 3x minus g of x natin ay x squared. So, papalta natin yung mga x value niya sa so, negative 3, 1 minus yung x naman ng x squared would be 2. So, yung ating function would be negative 3 minus 4 kasi 2 squared is 4 pero since yung negative nasa labas, so minus 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 7. So, yan ngayon yung problem number 2. And yung number 3, meron tayong f of x plus g of x. So, yung function ng f of x natin ay 2x plus 3. At yung g of x natin ay x squared plus x squared. So, since hindi na natin siya pwede i-simplify, pwede natin siyang i-modify into its standard form. So, x squared plus 2x plus 3 would be the standard form ng ating function na kung saan yung highest exponent yung nasa harapan. Now, yung problem number 4, meron tayong f times h of x. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, multiply natin yung function ng f of x, which is 2x plus 3 multiplied by h of x which is negative 3x so magkaiba lang siya ng notation pero parehas lang siya ng operation which is multiplication and by multiplication the distribute natin si negative 3x sa 2x plus 3 so we'll have negative 6x squared minus 9x since hindi natin siya pwede combine ito lang yung ating function na negative 6x squared minus 9x for number 4 now for number 5 meron tayong g all over f of 1 which means kailangan natin i-divide si g at si f yung g of x natin is x squared at yung f of x natin ay 2x plus 3 at since i-evaluate natin siya as x is equal to 1 so i-replace natin yung mga x ng 1 so meron tayong 1 squared all over 1 yung sa 2 plus 3 so, by simplifying this, meron tayo ngayong 1 all over 2 plus 3, which is equal to 1 all over 5. So, yan yung g of f of 1 natin. Now, yung sa susunod na problem naman, number 6, ito yung tinatawag na composite function or composition of function. Meron tayong f of g of x. So, ibig sabihin ng number 6, yung f of g of x kukunin muna natin yung function ng f which is 2x plus 3 at yung x ng 2x plus 3 magiging g of x. So, meron tayo ngayong 2x which is g of x plus 3 at yung g of x natin ay x squared. So, yung ating function ng g of x ang i-substitute natin sa function which is um, x squared. So, by simplifying this, pwede natin siyang pag-combine. So, we'll have 2x squared plus 3. So, ito ngayon yung ating f of g of x. 2x squared plus 3. Now, for problem number 7, binaliktad naman natin siya. Meron naman tayong g of I'm sorry, h of x. So, yung g yung una nating function. So, yung g natin is x squared. So, yung x squared, papaltan natin yung x ng h of x. So, magkakaroon tayo ng h of x 
squared. At ang h of x natin is negative 3x, so meron tayong negative 3x squared. And by simplifying this, negative 3x squared would be 9x squared. So ito yung ating g of h of x. At sa problem number 8, meron tayong f of h of 1. Now ngayon, instead of x yung nasa uh, maliit na parentheses, real number siya. So ibig sabihin, papalta natin yung x ng 1 later on. So una muna natin kunin si f, which is 2x plus 3. At papalta natin si x ng h of x. Ang, ang h of x natin is negative 3x, so yung x natin magiging negative 3x plus 3. At since ang kinukuha natin is um, f of h of 1, papalta natin yung mga x natin ng 1. So meron tayong 2 times negative 3 times 1 plus 3. And by simplifying the expression, magiging negative 3 to. And then multiply natin. And negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So ito yung ating f of h of 1. Now, do sa problem number 9, meron tayong f of g of 0. So, para masolve natin siya, number 9 is f of g of 0. So, parehas lang siya ng uh, composition of function, pero kailangan natin kunin si g of 0. So, si g of 0, Una muna natin i-evaluate yung nasa loob, going out. g of 0 is simply x squared. And then papalta natin si x ng 0. So g of 0 is equal to 0. So kung ang g of 0 ay equal to 0, so yung f of g of 0 natin magiging f of 0 na ngayon. Kasi yung g of 0 natin is equal to 0. So, pinalta natin siya. At ang f of x natin ay 2x plus 3. So, yung x nung f of x natin is magiging 0. So, we have 2 times 0 plus 3. And this becomes 0 plus 3. So, ang f of g of 0 natin ay equal to 3. So, yan yung pagkuha ng uh, function natin ng f of g of or f of g of 0. Now, dun sa problem number 10, meron tayong tatlong composition h of g of f of 1, h of g of f of 1. So, ang gagawin natin will go from the inside going out. So, una mo natin evaluate si f of 1. So, si f of 1 natin would be 2x plus 3, which is 2 times 1 plus 3, which is equal to 5. So, ito yung ating f of 1, 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung f of 1 magiging 5. So, yung ating h of g of f of 1, i-replace natin siya ng... 5. Kasi yung f of 1 natin is equal to 5. So, ang evaluate naman natin ngayon is g of 5. So, yung g of 5 g of 5 is equal to x squared. So, yung x natin magiging 5 which is equal to 25. So, ito yung ating g of 5. At since ang hinahanap natin ngayon is um, h of g of f of 1. So, si h of g of 5. Alam natin si g of 5 is equal to 25. Papalta natin yung h, yung g of 5 ng 25. So, ang hahanapin natin ngayon is h of 25. So, ang h natin is negative 3x. So, negative 3x so, yung x natin magiging 25. So, we have negative 3 times 25 is equal to negative 75. So, ito ngayon yung ating h of g of f of 1. Which is equal to negative 75. At ito yung mga pamamaraan kung saan pwede natin magamit yung mga function operations ng uh, regular function at composite function. At kung meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito, please like, share, 
and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.